from start to finish through every step of a basic editing process. I'm going to throw a couple of things in that will help you out too. So, first thing we want to do is transfer our footage over to our class folder, then our project folder. Anytime we make a new folder, you're going to create a new project folder. It's 20, 22, whatever the year is, the month, the day with zero is placeholder, the name of the project, and then your name in parentheses. Inside of that, five folders, audio, finished videos, media, project files, and finished videos. Then when you put your SD card in, you go to DCIM, 100 Canon, and inside of here, you move your, uh, your videos into the video folder, in your project folder. So I prepped all that, we're good to go there. Next, you wanna open Premiere Pro. And once Premiere Pro is open, you, sometimes it gets like this. It doesn't bring up uh, the pop-up screen, but if you see Premiere Pro up here, you can go to New Project. There's a couple of things we need to do here. First, we need to name our project in the top left. It's going to be 2022-09 or whatever the month and years-16. Uh, it's our nature montage. It looks exactly like the project folder name. And then you name your parentheses. The next thing we want to do is we want to navigate to the place that we're going to save this project. So right now it's saving into events. That's not where we want to save it. We want to go to our desktop NHS Tech Local inside of our class folder, inside of our project folder, and then inside of project files folder. And once we hit create, it will eventually bring up Premiere Pro. So this is the general layout of Premiere Pro. If you don't see a layout like this, you can go up to Window, Workspaces, and All Panels. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can look at the screen. Uh, I always suggest the All Panels just to start. And if it still doesn't look like this, or if anything gets out of place, you accidentally move something and you can't get back, Window, Workspace, and Reset to Save Layout. That's going to just completely reset everything back to square one. First thing we need to do is import our videos. So you can go to File, Import here. You can double click in this area down here, our, our project window, or you can press the Command I key. Once you do so, you can navigate to your video folder. And once you bring in the video folder, You'll have a nice folder here, double click, and you'll see all your clips. So, how do you prepare a clip? If you double click on a clip, it's going to bring it up in the preview window. You'll be able to move the playhead around inside of here and see that clip. So, you get it to where you want to start it. You can also press the play, the space bar to play, and you can also use the left and right arrow keys to go one frame at a time. So, we have the part where we want to start, and you're going to press the I key. That's going to set an endpoint where you want the clip to start, and then bring it down to where you want the clip to end. Usually you're going to use probably between three and five seconds of a clip, maybe more, uh, depending on how you want to, uh, how you want to kind of present to that, the, the rhythm, the flow of the edit. If you left click and drag from the actual video, you can drag it down into your timeline sequence and you can actually see it now that we actually have, this is the finished product in our program window. This is the, the clip. So if I press space bar, the clip is about three seconds long. So I can do a couple of things. One, I can drag this down. I can also, if I just want the video, I can drag video only from right here. And that just brings in the video. So I can put a song in, so I'm going to choose to do that. So I drag this in. If I want to extend this clip, I can take the end of it and move it like this. So say I wanted just a little bit more of that shot, I'm going to bring it out to here. So now you do that with your other clips. Find where that, that part is that you want. Right here looks good. I'm pressing I, pressing O and bring the video only. Another tip, minus sign and plus sign to zoom in, zoom out of your timeline. And so then I want you to build out 
the video. So you're gonna have all your clips, your nice nature montage looking here. So, all right, so we have our clips. You're gonna have uh, 10, 15 clips. You're gonna have all these clips. So we've built out this way on the timeline right here. Uh, after you do that, what you can do is you can bring in graphics. On this right sidebar over here, there's a whole bunch of panels. I want you to go to Essential Graphics, and you'll see a whole bunch of different ones that you can use. Uh, some of them we're going we're gonna to go in later and show you how to install graphics and stuff, but we can take any of these graphics. For instance, uh, bold title. If we left-click and drag that in from the Essentials Graphics, we can put it into your project. If you double click that essential graphic, it will actually bring you up in the pro uh, properties of it over here. So instead of your title here, I'm going to double click on that and I can go over here, so double click, and edit the title. So you can also see that it brings up graphics over here. I'm just going to put nature montage and set episode. I'm going to put my name Jeremy. So easy graphic, easy peasy. We have our graphic here. Comes in, kind of shows, and then it starts playing. Uh, so we're good on that. So now we can bring in some music. So there's a couple of different places that we can get music from. One of them is Envato Elements. I'll give you the login for that. I'm just going to sign in now. And I can look for, say, acoustic guitar in music. Find a song I like. That has a good vibe to it. I'm going to hit download once I'm in. And this is, you might see this already because I'm making it create a new project called Nature Montage. And it downloaded the song. Notice how the, the song's downloaded as a zip file. Once I have that and I click it, it's going to unzip that file and give me actual usable music. So here's my guitar, and here are the MP3 and WAV files. Whenever you download something, be it a photo, a video, or a piece of music, you need to take that from the downloads, copy it, and paste it over into your audio folder, or video folder, or media folder. So once you do that, then you can come back here, file import, and I'm going to bring the myguitar.mp3 in. And just like I can prep clips up here, I can do that. Or you could just drag it in here as well. And then use your minus sign to zoom out a little bit and move that clip around. So I'm going to make it a little shorter on this end. Bring it down here. Plus sign in. Bring that to the end. And now I have my music under it. So that looks good. Last thing I want to do is I might want to put some transitions. So I'm going to look under effects over here in the panel, video transitions, and under dissolve. There's a lot of different transitions. Most of them are garbage. The ones that you can use are cross dissolve, dip to black, and dip to white. So I'm actually going to left click and drag dip to black on the end of a clip. You can't put it in the middle. You got to put it on the end. So I'm going to put a dip to black in the Beginning. I'm going to put a dip to black. I'm going to left click and drag this over a little bit. And so dip to black in the beginning, dip to black on the end. And I can also do an audio transition, which is a constant gain. I'll put that at the beginning so it doesn't just abruptly cut in. So space bar to play. Now I have my beautiful little montage, and at the end, it fades out. Very last thing is we're going to go back to Essential Graphics, go to Browse, and 
you can put something like a the end. So I'm just going to grab this one, bring it in again, double click. Instead of presents, we call it here. It's going to say the end. Other thing is, I have the end here, but if I go over here, this is a different font. What font is this? So we double click on here, we look at nature montage, click it over, over here. We can see that's Beavis new. So you can pick whatever font, but have that font the same as this font. So I'm gonna take the end, go right here, and pick Beavis new. I can also make it bigger or smaller if I want. And I can also put a dip to black on that. Notice how now between two clips I have that transition. And I'm gonna put that at the end. So we have dip to black in, then the end. Beautiful. So we have our nice beautiful montage with our sound and our transitions. Last thing that we need to do is export it. A couple ways to export. You can go to File, Export, Media, or there's a new thing that you can click right here. Either way, what you want to make sure is that you don't have any kind of in points and out points accidentally up here that will kind of screw you up. If you do see something like this, right click, clear in and out, make sure that you're all set down over there. File, Export, Media, and again, just like when we created a project, we need to rename and save it in the right place. So this is going to be nature. So it's going to be 2022-09-16 nature montage journey. I like to do this to V01. So if you have multiple renditions, you're doing something, you're tweaking, you have a history of all the ones that you do. Match source. High adaptive high bit rate, H.264, that's good. So if you need to, adaptive high bit rate, H.264, those are our settings. And the last thing we do, click on the location and we save that to local semester, our project folder, and finished videos. Hit save and then you can hit export. And we're good.